Hi, during this short video, I will show how to connect your routers to Splinks using OVPN uh, tunneling. Splinks has own OVPN uh, server that is installed and uh, configured very quickly. Uh, why this is needed? Usually we have this type of configuration when Splinks is installed in the same network where we have all our network elements, routers, switches, access points. So Splinks can connect to all your equipment, but sometimes we have a scenario when uh, the device or devices are uh, behind net. So they are hidden and they are not visible for splings. And so uh, that's why we need to have uh, open VPN or any VPN connection. Uh, we suggest to use open VPN because it's very easy to, uh, to configure. So let's take a look on how to do that. Let's uh, open our configuration inside splings. We have we scroll down, we have tools, tool section that has cloud open VPN. And there is a server section. So if we click server, there is, you can see that there are several VPNs that are connected at the moment to this server. So I can remove one and start from scratch because I have already one uh, VPN that is configured on my router. So I will just remove it from there and this open VPN, I will disable it and then I will just enable it. So how to do, how to start? We need to check that our open VPN server is configured in Splinks, first of all. So it's enabled, port number, mode, uh, the network that is used uh, for connecting our open VPN uh, clients, it means routers, and so uh, these routers will use, and the whole communication will be inside this uh, secure encrypted tunnel on these IP addresses, and there are the secu security section and configuration. When this is enabled, we can continue and we can create open VPN client. So that will do uh, NAT router, we call it. The IP address that will be used, username can be splinks, and let's say password splinks123 for test, and this is very important. This is the routes that we are going to uh, use inside our network. So it means Splink should be able to see these routes. So all your private IP addresses that you use inside the network should be put there. So for example, 190.168.100.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
to establish open VPN session. To do this, I go to my interface. So this one is already created. Let's take a look what is there. So we can call it Splinks OVPN and dial out. There is my IP address or DNS where I connect to. So it's a Splinks server in the cloud. And then I say Splinks, Splinks one, two, three, and my certificate should be net router. Here, this should match to what I have in my settings of Splinks, which is AS192 and SHA1 for authentication. And now I do apply and enable. When I enable, the link is established, the, it's connected also, and I can see inside IP addresses, I can see that there is the IP address assigned. I can try to ping my Splink server to 5032.1. The first IP is always at IP address of Splinks, so it works. And the same way Splinks can ping back to my equipment. So that's all, thank you for your time. And uh, if you have any questions, you can find the documentation uh, on our website. So it's just enough to write in, in the Google type there. Let's go to Google. Dot com. We just type there, Splinks OVPN setup. And exactly the same setup is described there in text. Just very important is to import correctly in correct order the certificate files. If you don't want to do this job manually, also what you can use is inside NAT folder that I downloaded from Splinks, we have also this RSC file which is a configuration file for Mikrotik. So if you open that, you can just copy all these comments and paste them and it will establish the session for you. So thank you for your time.